Good day, everyone. Professor Maple here. We're back in the sewers and the... Oh, this is not going to end well at all. Can't even see what I'm doing. I'm going to die. Yep, I died. Cool. Good day, everyone. Professor Maple here. We are back on the Nebulous server. Um, it kind of looks like we're in a sewer. That kind of is in that it's a water-based system that moves material. Um, kind of isn't in that it doesn't move bodily waste. You are inside my head. Just playing mind games, are ya? Well, anyway, so yes, we are actually in the belly of this uh, zombie spawner farm I've been working on. Been working hard on it all day. It's been kind of a rough day. Um, because I had a silk touch pick before, then zombies attacked, and I don't have a silk touch pick anymore. And that was my first really good pick of, of my time on the server so far. Uh, and I don't have any more diamonds. And the, so yeah, that's 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 a bit of a pain. But we're 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 gonna get that figured out soon enough. Anyway, and part of the the reason I'm working on this farm is because I don't have diamonds. So, uh, yes. So this is going to be a sort of a twofold plan. We're gonna take the zombies from here, the regular zombies. What we're gonna do is just have them drop down there. They'll come up through this tube, and they go up. Uh, I why not? I'll show you. So they'll go up here. A bit of a long way up. Come along here. I don't have a pick anymore. I can't. <laughs> I don't have. But trust me, there's a water stream right there. And a little hole there. It'll drop down. And part one of this farm is that they just take fall damage till. Oh, down here. They just take fall damage. So they get here. Now, for some reason, and I've been using half slabs, I've been using soul sand, I've been using full blocks, I still can't f work out why, but there's for some strange reason, these zombies will either come down and it'll take two punches to hit or to, to kill them, or they'll instantly die on whatever height I have to put them on. And it's not consistent and it makes making the farm really difficult. Because I just want to be able to punch them once, and then bam, I have my experience. Um, like it's not it's a super big deal, but kind of spent the better part of the afternoon trying to figure that out. Anyway, so yes, and then part two of this will be um, being able to toggle whether or not they come down here or move on to a further part of the operation I haven't built yet, as you could see. I haven't even dug out the space for it. Um, where we're going to have different chambers for purifying zombie villagers, turning them into regular villagers, getting awesome trades and diamonds and emeralds and stuff. Uh, yes, uh, it is kind of a super greedy goal, but I, you know, want to... Uh, the, thing, the thing about joining a server, uh, potentially like a year after... Uh, or six months, or any significant amount of time after the the majority of the players have already been on the server, is that you kind of feel like you're uh, left behind a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to catch up for lost time and uh, make sure I can get some nice enchants. Like I've got a good enchanting table, I just don't have anything worth enchanting on it at the moment. I can get books. Uh, but I don't have any diamonds or anything. I could really use them. So, yeah, we're going to have 36 chambers uh, for purifying villagers. Hopefully that, that... I don't imagine that I'll need that many, but I'll have them just in case. Because uh, I'm thinking I might get some different trades between, like, two of the same occupation of villager. Because, you know, the, they're the different colors, and within those colors are different occupations. Like there, and like a one butcher might not have as good trades as the other, but there might be one trade I really like want from him 
that's maybe not the best example of the butcher, but that's what I thought of off the top of my head. Anyway, so, uh, yes, 36 uh, pods, kind of, they'll be separated from this room. I don't want, to, I don't want zombies getting in there that aren't being purified, and I also don't want the, the villagers getting out and contaminating each other, so that'll get tricky. Um, not entirely sure how I'll work that, but I do know how I'm going to separate the, uh, oh, my plan just totally isn't going to work too well if I don't have silk touch, because I just realized I need packed ice, but I'll show you, I'll show you why. Okay, so this is, there we go, I knew it could, we're back on the Exumavoid plot world servery thing. This is the mock-up of what I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to make it out of birch wood. I might use sandstone. Just because, um, well, you'll see in a minute. Essentially, it, sandstone doesn't burn. Uh, but basically, what the plan is, we've got our tube. Sort of takes the, uh, vill the zombies along. Now, if, and we're, we're going we're gonna to make this toggleable. So if we want to just kill zombies, uh, we can send them falling... And then, you know, take them out, whatever. Uh, if we want to purify the zombie villagers, we're going to send them down a different way. Oh, and this is toggleable from the bottom now. I forgot about that. So, yes, we can toggle that. We've got sort of this uh, slime block tower, which toggles this piston, the sticky piston, which has... Uh, I just watched a, a Mumbo episode, so I'm, I want to say compressed ice. It, packed ice is technically what it's called. Um, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, but uh, basically I use packed ice because, and it's really annoying not having a lever up here anymore. Uh, so we're just going to do this for the sake of not having to go back and forth. So yes, so now if we've got a villager hanging out here, packed ice is going to whoosh them along into the next and then if we no long, longer have like if we already have a villager in here, we don't want more villagers coming down here, more zombies, because that's going to just wreck everything, right? So we can put the packed ice back over so they end up going to the next one and they can drop down, we can purify them. If after I've purified them and I don't like what their trade is, I open this up and there's our lovely friend Lava right down there. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty nice design, I think. Um, it's sort of based on, um, if any of you have ever seen uh, Daedalus 822's was it his first single player world? I remember at some point he had, I think it was uh, his underwater base uh, in his second player world there, uh, around 1.8-ish, where he he had a, a similar setup, but I think he used, uh, oh no, maybe it was before that one. Well, anyway, regardless, he was using tripwire hooks which I can't really get to work on this server for some reason. Uh, my, my, I, I imagine it's probably one of the anti anti uh, lag uh, provisions they've they've made. But anyway, so yes, uh, instead of instead of that, we've got slime blocks we can use. Which I'm gonna have to get another slime farm going because I have no slime. Um, but yeah, we've got that. And someone's taking apart a nerf gun. I don't know what that is, Ethan Webbs, but uh, that's happening, apparently. Um, well, I know what a nerf gun is. I'm not sure why that's relevant to anything going on on the server right now, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be able to, to trade with them here. Maybe not have too tall a gap. Uh, might just be like that or something, something like that, I don't know. I just need to be able to access them and them not escape. Um, 
but yeah, so th that's basically what the mock-up is going to be. And there, there are going to be 36 of them, of these pods. So this is three. I think uh, 33 more of them. And then I might make it into like a, a room or something that where it like curves around, you know, sort of a bit like that. So, like I don't I don't want to be to be too big of a room because uh, I'm not entirely sure where it's all where it's all gonna go, but uh, I think that'd be kind of cool to have. Uh, I'm not because the zombie spawner is not under the base. It's next to it's basically under that river that's beside my base. Um, and because of that, I'm not really sure how I want to set this room up. I figured I might just do that as we go or try and excavate that furthest hex out of the base so that we can sort of move the villagers into the base from the zombie spawner. I don't really know. Um, it would be a little more convenient, uh, slightly. But we'll we'll just see how that goes, you know. Just have to be careful about zombie villagers despawning and whatnot uh, as they're being transported by the the water. But basically, this is this is what the plan is. So, anyway, okay, everyone, I've kind of not been working on the zombie spawner just because I wanted to relax a little bit more tonight. So instead, I've done a bit more work on this one, two, third third hex. Third hex. Went to the the Ender Mizzle farm, got some experience, enchanted this, which isn't like the best pick in the world, but it's so much better than using stone. Which is what I've used for most of this. He says as he sobs. Anyway, so uh Oh also, also yes, yes, yes. So that slime block is to remind me that when I'm up top there, slimes will spawn in this hex. So, I'm not sure, like, where the, I still have to measure out, like, the, this, the slime chunk for that, but it is a good sign that we could have a slime farm fairly early on, which definitely makes me excited, because I could really use that, the way, uh, especially with the way I want to do things, I want to empty out all these hexes and sort of have, like, a uh, little slime block booster things going from one hex to another. They're going to sort of have platforms going up in a spiral up to the top. And there'll be like farms on each one or something like that. Um, and basically, I'm going to need a lot of slime for that. And also, if I end up doing a slime block elevator or something like that to go up to the top a little quicker than that. Uh, so yes, that 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 this prospect excites me. So that's why that slime box there, that's to remind me of that. And I've just sort of been emptying out the, this little hex here. Listening to music, watching watching some streams, you know, just chilling after kind of a shorter day of work today. Just because uh, it was kind of slow, so they let me go home early. But, um... What was that? What was that? Thank you for the info on your software. Oh, I should have brought an axe. Let's grab an uh no, I'll just punch it. But this looks I'm I guess a swordy thing. Also I like the birch wood, I'm a big fan of birch. Oh no! A beacon And quartz blocks and glows to your holy bother. I am holy bother. Okay, okay. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, on, on this server, uh, just because there have been issues with people spawning withers in other people's bases, uh, what has happened is that you, there, you can't really spawn a wither by putting the soul sand and the wither skulls on top without... Uh, or and and expect it to spawn a wither. It won't spawn a wither if you do that, or at least last time I checked, it wouldn't. Um, so there wasn't really a way to get 
A A beacon. And I efficiently and fortune throw. Oh my bother. That's that's I'm excited now. That's gonna be the diamond multiplier pick. Anyway, so um just to show you how hard it is to get a beacon now, because we can still get them, uh, thanks to the Easter update. Um Thanks to the Easter update, Next is planned, and uh, and of course everyone, all all the rest of the staff member people and build team have been working on. We're we're right underneath spawn here. You can see the welcome to the nebulous thingies there. So we've got villagers we can trade with. So you know some of these are good for starting resources like seeds. Although we still don't have beets. I don't remember if I've shown you guys these. They're named after some of the members of the of staff on the server, but one of them we can get. Uh, we speak to Jasmine here, amongst some all some really nice, cool stuff. Is another star, and that wasn't. I don't remember that sword being there before, but that's a pretty cool sword. Um. Oh, an iron for... Oh, cool. I might still use uh, villager trading once I've got it set up, but that's still cool. But yes, it's 40 emeralds and 32 diamonds. I just used the last of my uh, five diamonds to make this pick and then to uh, to fix it up a little bit. So that's that's the long way off. And the 40 emeralds, I'd have to get my villager trading set up or, or come here and trade emeralds with, with Jasmine there. But, so, you do not understand, uh, and it's home, hive, there we go. So, if we go back to the hive here, so, just, I'm going to show you what I have for this, and emeralds is a little misleading, uh, back when I had a silk touch pick, before I died and lost it, ooh, I'm going to say goodbye to Nyx here, Mater's. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so yeah, this is... Okay, so now... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, seven emerald ore, only because I found a really extensive uh, cave that goes that way a bit while I was mining. Like, really extensive. Like, I've been exploring that for days and still haven't found the end. And then uh, I've got four emeralds there. So, you know, I've, I've started, and villager trading again will we'll increase that. But I've... Oh! No, I do have diamonds. Okay, so I've got technically four diamonds if we count that one there, but I don't. So three diamonds. Um, so I'm nowhere near getting getting a beacon. But lock at the thing and then... <laughs> so, so Nyx, you are awesome. Uh, I can't thank you enough for this. Um... I don't know how I'm going to top this now, although, I don't know, I'm sure in your eyes this, this is a fair trade, but believe me, it is not. I <laughs> I, I, I feel like you kind of got the short end of the stick here, so, like, I'm not, I'm not a, a, like, a very talkative guy usually, but I am even more speechless <laughs> than normal here. This is, this is nuts. I can't wait, because I've got... I've got a spot to put the beacon, and I need. Oh, do I? I don't, I don't even remember how many how many iron blocks I need for the the pyramid to go underneath that. But I really hope I've got enough iron for that. Let's just see what we've got. It's not in blocks, but I had an iron drought, and then I I went mining in that endless cave and found like all these mine carts and and rails. So there's a couple uh, abandoned mine shafts down there. I got so lucky with that. Holy bother. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough iron yet to to make the full pyramid. But it's it's worth it's worth trying to start that up for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm, ex I'm excited. Although I might want to make sure I have silk. To wait. That's, uh, yeah, I might want to make sure I have silk touch before I, I do anything with that. But... So thank you, Nix. Thank you, Nixwire. You're not. You just left the server, but. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
I'm excited. I am so excited. I'm... Holy bother. Holy bo holy bother, Poochie. Holy bother. No. I, I don't think... I don't think this dog has quite as much enthusiasm about it as I do. But I am excited. I am so excited. <sighs> <laughs> so I am so excited about this beacon. I cannot wait to put it in. I've already taken most of my iron, save a stack of ore and a couple ingots, and we're we're not gonna have the full beacon pyramid at this point. And can I do this without dying? Uh, I'm not going any further. I always end up dying if I do that. So yeah, we're not going to have the whole full beacon pyramid put in yet, but I am a bit of a dweeb and I've, I'm really excited. So I'm just going to I'm gonna put this beacon in. Actually, I can ditch this as well because the beacon will give off light. Ta-da! Oh, wait. Do I have to just... Leave it for a moment. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we want that, and we want some of these would be really nice, but I want haste. I don't know if I have haste selected or not. Oh, what the bother? How does we do? I forget. I've, I haven't had a beacon in so long. Oh, regeneration is only if we get a full. Okay, so. Do I have that selected? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do we have... Wait, what? Wait a minute, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. That looked like... Stone brick. What? What's up there? What? I may have been a little too... Oh, that's what the, the... Okay. So I need to get rid of my scaffolding here. That I'm okay with. There we go. I almost want to just like jump down through there. But that's... that's No, that's death on a stick right there. We don't want that. <laughs> Not right now. I'm too excited to do that right now. There we go. So now we'll plop that into there and get the haste to haste and hit the done. And I'm excited now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Secondary power. Pretty sure we only get a secondary power if we have a full beacon pyramid. Um, that is my understanding at this point. Oh, no. No, no, I will, I will leave. I will leave this pit. I swear to you, I swear I will leave. There, so now, now what's the, uh, I forget what the range on the single step pyramid. So we've, we've got range there. We've got, okay, we're good there. Can we go all the way to this first uh, bunch of hexes here? Ooh, and we'll keep a sword out here. And where's what's my where's what's the button I want? <laughs> oh wait, I think we must be outside the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we've got top corner there. You can see we've got haste there. Two, one. Okay, no more haste. So it's pretty much. Okay, so it's like here. This is this is our. Oh wait, no, I've got I've got torches in my offhand. I'm not used to 1.9 yet. As much as I, as much as it may look like I am. So we can do like. That's like half of half of the the far hex there and. And each text sort of on the other side. So yeah, we we've, we've got some 
decent range on that still. Uh, might have to get some silk touch so I can move it around a little bit more, but otherwise, it's going to be... F oh, wait, no. I have to put holes in my... Oh, holes in my ceiling as long as they're temporary, I guess, aren't bad. But anyway, I am excited. I'm so excited. Cause, uh, oh, I'm kind of running out of this pick. This isn't the pick that, that Nick Suar gave me. This is... I hope that's the right pronunciation of his name. I read it all the time. I don't hear it, so I don't know for sure. But I'm excited, and I've finished this hex for the most part, other than extracting all the lava and or obsidian. So that'll be fun. I'm a... <laughs> I'm going to go to bed, and then probably record more later or something. Night.